We've been in Cheatwood Primary School coaching uh, tag rugby as part of the Aviva programme for the last five weeks. Um, we've come along today with Brian Redpath. Uh, we've had about 90 odd um, that we've coached, all gone away with like certificates. Brian's been kind enough to sign posters for them. They've all got t-shirts, so they've absolutely loved it. Well, it's a five week programme, so obviously what we do is we tend to just uh, have a look at the ball skills to start off with. Then we introduce passing, then we introduce the tags, um, and then obviously start introducing the game of tag rugby. All the, all the uh, training leads up to a tag rugby festival where the kids from other schools that we've been coaching in compete against each other. So the <laughs> festival is running on the 22nd of April at Broughton Park Rugby Club. It's really important that you know every Premiership club and also you know with, with Sale being in an area that is primarily football dominated and when you come out to the, the communities and the schools you, you realise that you know it's a tough challenge to get people to be aware of rugby and, um, and certainly come out to enjoy it. A lot of parents would look at rugby and think well maybe they shouldn't try that but when you play tag or touch it allows everybody from all different you know ranges and, and um, you know different communities to come along and play and try and encourage it make it fun as well it, you know it doesn't have to be all serious it's about enjoyment getting them out of the classroom for an hour I'm sure they all love that and uh, you know today's been a great experience for me to come along and see so many different kids from you know different backgrounds to get rugby in, and into this area it has been a big challenge for everyone and it's great you know the community department at, at Sale Sharks is very active they're very understanding of what challenges lie ahead for players to try and you know, come out and support that community is important as well. And also, you know, just over the years, it's, the game is physical. So, you know, a lot of people get turned off by that. But I think in general, it's, it's, it's how we can make it enjoyable, how everybody can get behind it and support it. You can tell that some children have got the natural, you know, footballing skills or the natural evasion skills. So you can see them at this age, but I think that the primarily thing is get them enjoying it and get them out playing a little bit of rugby and, and running around. and. You just never know which one will turn up and play for a, a, a local rugby club, which is what we ideally wish, and come along and support Sale Sharks on a Friday evening. And then, you know, you just never know who may who come out the other end.